You can um, just put them down over here. Hey, uh, thanks for that. I really wouldn't like to think how long that would have taken by myself. No worries, man. I'm surprised you didn't give me a bell. Wow. Uh, I guess I was feeling a bit guilty and figured if I gave you a call, you'd give me a hard time. What have you got to feel guilty about? See, that's what I was afraid of. What? You giving me a hard time. Oh, come on, Bob. You know me. I give everybody a hard time, whether they deserve it or not. Yeah, well, sometimes it isn't nice when you're giving me a hard time. Well, one of the things that I've noticed over our years of friendship is you tend to only get annoyed with me giving you a hard time when you know you deserve it. Nah, that isn't true. Come on, Bob. Well, it's not always true. Really? You want to play this game? All right, fine, it's true, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. No, you don't. You don't have to like it. You don't even have to listen. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do it. So tell me. Of all the things that I could possibly give you a hard time about, what do you think is going to be at the top of my list? Oh, I haven't been coming to church. Um, sorry, what was that? I didn't quite catch that. Oh, I haven't been coming to church. Really? I hadn't noticed. Oh, ha, ha. What's, what's the big deal? I haven't been to church for a couple of weeks. <coughs> oh, a, a month. <coughs> all right, fine. I haven't been to church for two months. There you go. Now, don't you feel better getting that off your chest? Well, not really. So tell me. Are you feeling guilty about not coming to church or the fact that I called you out about it? Oh, both. I mean, uh, come on, what's it to you if I miss church for a couple of months? You just don't get it, do you? Well, obviously not according to you. <laughs> it's hard enough being a bloke in this PC world, let alone being a Christian bloke. That's two strikes against us according to society. We've got to stick together. Man, they're like a pack of hungry wolves out there just waiting to separate one of us from the herd. We have to stick together. Oh, come on, Dan. You know what it's like. I work Monday to Friday. By the time I get home, have dinner, feed the kids, I'm exhausted. Then Saturdays, the kids' sports, mowing the lawns, things like that. By the time Sunday rolls around, I just need some time to myself. I haven't got the time. Then you need to make time. This is how it starts. How what starts? First you start making excuses not to go to church, then it becomes the norm. <laughs> That won't happen to me. Bob, it already has. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. You guess. <sighs> Come on, Dan. I know all the scriptures about the body, you know? It's like, here's the vine. We are the branches. We need to remain in him. I, <laughs> I wasn't even going to worry with that scripture. I was going to give you Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. We rub off on each other. We need each other to make ourselves better. Oh, look, mate, I got to shoot. Look, I'll see you Sunday. Oh, well, maybe we'll see. It wasn't a question. Don't make me come looking for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, Dan. Yeah. Thanks. No worries, mate. That's what we're here for. <laughs>